So uh, being uh, an ABS endowed chair um, has given us uh, a unique and great opportunity to, to bring excellent, um, enthusiastic and motivated students on board in ocean engineering uh, program at UC Berkeley. So ocean engineering is uh, undergoing a major revolution and transition um, to uh, autonomy and, and greener ships. Uh, and therefore, graduates of ocean engineering need to have not just the fundamental understanding of the basics and classical topics, but also state-of-the-art tools that are available just today, including uh, sensors, data science and engineering, artificial intelligence, um, and all the modern tools. Ocean wave power is a form of renewable energy, uh, and the energy comes from the power of incoming waves. There are reports that uh, estimate that uh, oceans can realistically provide uh, up to 10% of the world's electricity. So wave power is a very dense form of solar power. So they, they carry a lot of um, energy and that's why the energy density is very high. But at the same time, it's very complicated to work with waves because they're powerful um, and uh, the nature of the waves in the ocean, uh, they're always a combination, it's a spectrum, a combination of many different frequencies uh, and wavelength uh, and, and amplitudes that are mixed and they're coming from all different directions. So it's very complicated and that's why the research on wave power uh, is uh, kind of behind the solar uh, power and, and wind power, but the potential is huge uh, and the energy density is also huge. Another research thrust that we started a couple of years back is working on underwater wireless communication. Uh, this is in fact the most important outstanding problem in ocean engineering. And uh, the reason that this is a serious problem is uh, electromagnetic waves do not propagate in, in water. They get absorbed in water pretty uh, fast and strong. Your cell phone only works uh, a centimeter or two below the water surface and just stop working. So uh, pretty much all the communication devices that we have, uh, be it Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, uh, radio frequency, they're all form of electromagnetic waves that uh, water just loves to, to absorb. Uh, so therefore, there's no way to communicate uh, underwater as of today. We have acoustics and sonar, uh, but they have a very limited bandwidth. Uh, therefore, uh, we've started to look into this problem uh, and uh, we have a new paradigm that we're working on currently uh, to make high bandwidth uh, wireless communication uh, underwater possible. Underwater drone technology is another focus uh, that's uh, in, in my research lab. Basically, part of autonomy in the ocean is to use uh, underwater drones. Um, and uh, with aerial drone as, uh, at their pretty mature level of technology, now it's time for underwater drones. Uh, only about 90% of the ocean bottom has been uh, mapped so far. Um, uh, we know about stars billions of light years away, a lot more than what we know about the bottom of our ocean. Uh, and therefore, we really need to look, look, look below. Uh, ocean provides about 90% of the living area on the planet. Uh, and half of our oxygen comes from the ocean, uh, and our knowledge of the ocean is very limited. Uh, underwater drones uh, provide a unique opportunity for us to explore what is in the ocean. This is a very exciting time for ocean engineering with all the new development and changes uh, that are upcoming. Uh, and uh, this partnership with ABS uh, is the key uh, to address these interesting research problems and also to prepare students for the upcoming uh, challenges that are ahead.